Hi there! Welcome to 30 Days of Spring Cleaning with Christina. I'm Christina Edwards, your guide to this month of cleaning. So it's actually going to be only 28 days, not 30. And I found a calendar with a bunch of different challenges every day that are easy. A lot of these 30 day challenges are a little crazy. I couldn't personally do them. So I found one that's easy. Every day there are simple tasks like cleaning the top of your door frames, cleaning your um, doorknobs and light switches. Um, so if you stick with me and do them each day, it's not going to be too terrible. I think I am going to be able to fit them into my crazy life. I have three small children under the age of four, so it can get a little overwhelming here at times. There's one. Personally, I need a little bit of accountability and that's why I'm doing this challenge and I figured I might as well put it out there for you to do as well. Um, I know a lot of people that are like me, you just need a place to go to get some ideas on what to clean and stick with it um, because I know for me during the winter, I let things go a lot. We're inside a lot, so it's harder to clean, especially with the kids. Um, but you know, the days get away from us and I just need to get back on track. I don't know about you, but I'm sure that's why you're here as well. So we have a place to encourage each other every day, get some ideas. Um, I'm gonna put up a calendar. That's the calendar for the month. So during this challenge, you have a choice. You, you can breeze through them. If the daily tasks are too easy, you can skip ahead. Go for it, girl. Go ahead to the next day. Um, you can skip around if you want to. But the, the point is just to have a place to come for ideas during the month, a little bit of accountability. I'll root you on every day. Um, but come back and check out each day for the daily task or just take a look at that calendar. It's gonna be right here. And it will give you ideas for spring cleaning every day. And if you're a part of my Facebook group, Good Clean Fun with KE, I am doing a weekly challenge giveaway uh, with Norwex products. So I am a independent consultant with Norwex. So I'm going to be using all Norwex products because I don't have anything else. About two years into my Norwex journey, I decided to finally get rid of all of the chemicals. Um, I was holding on to a couple of them, like the bleach and, and whatnot. Um, thinking that I was gonna need them, but after two years, I didn't even reach for them. I didn't even think about them. Um, so I finally decided after two years to finally just get rid of them. And that was two years ago. So I've been doing this about four years. Uh, in this house, we use pretty much just cloth and water. For the things that we need a little bit more oomph, um, I have Norwex products that are non-toxic. So. The ingredients are completely non-toxic. I can feel good about using them around my kids. Um, and a lot of the times my kids are actually helping me clean because they're with me 24 seven and they enjoy cleaning um, and I feel safe um, having them around these products. Feel free to use whatever you have in your own home, um, but I am very excited to show you how to use Norwex products. And the purpose of using Norwex is radically reducing chemicals in the home. It's not necessarily about getting rid of everything all at once. Eventually, over time, you will probably want to, um, but the purpose is to radically reduce the amount of chemicals that we are exposed to. Because when I found out that house moms or um, stay-at-home moms had an 84% more likelihood of getting cancer uh, because of the chemicals that we're exposed to, it really resonated with me and that is kind of my aha moment um, I thought I don't want to die of cancer so that's what started me on my Norwex journey I wanted a safer option um, for my kids to be around my kids lick everything I don't know about you but my kids lick everything um, so having cloth and water that can physically remove um, any of that bacteria dirt dust all of the stuff um, it makes me feel like a good mom, like I'm actually doing good for my kids. Um, they're not licking residue of chemicals. So that's what I'll be using. Don't worry if you don't have Norwex products, you can still do this challenge. And I encourage you to use whatever you have on hand, um, but be thinking about using something um, a little safer. 
With Norwex, we can clean with just water. It can physically remove up to 99% bacteria from a surface uh, with just cloth and water. So I'll be talking about that throughout this journey and our challenge, um, but this is not like a salesy thing. I really just want you to have an accountability place to come to, um, to get your spring cleaning kind of jump started. Um, and like I said, all of the challenges every day are pretty easy. So you can do it um, with me every day, or you can jump ahead, you can do them on your own schedule. We actually do have catch-up days also, and then Saturdays are gonna be resting catch-up days and um, the giveaways in my VIP group. This is a challenge happening April of 2021, so if you're watching this after, I apologize, the giveaways are done. But if you are watching this in real time, um, please join me over in my VIP group for the giveaways on Saturdays. And um, I look forward to showing you how I Norwex my home. I no longer clean my home, I Norwex it. Um, and these challenges should be qu pretty quick and easy every day. And um, I would love to hear your comments below after you finish each challenge. Um, let me know what you products you used um, or if the challenge was difficult for the day for you to get done. Um, just let me know how, how you're doing, check in, and um, yeah, let's get started. Day one. Okay, so for challenge number one, we have clean doors and handles. This should be a pretty quick and easy one. Um, we're kind of easing into our challenge here with day number one, and I'm going to be using just cloth and water. Remember, we have these amazing microfiber cloths from Norwex. We can remove up to 99% bacteria from surfaces when used for and cared for properly. The EnviroCloth has about 10 million feet of microfiber in each cloth. The size of the fibers are 1 200th the size of a human hair. To be considered microfiber, the fibers only have to be 1 6th the size of a human hair, and that's what you're going to find in most stores. That's what makes Norwex so incredibly different, is the fibers are super, super teeny tiny. They are super, super dense with that 10 million feet of microfiber. And they also contain micro silver, which is gonna prohibit the growth of any mold, mildew, or bacteria uh, while it dries. So it self purifies in between your uses. You can get a lot of uses out of it before laundering it. Um, I always wash all of my Norwex together once a week, if I remember, sometimes it's bi-weekly. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be using for the doors and handles today. I'm going to be using a full-size EnviroCloth because I have eight cleaning surfaces that's gonna get me through all of my doors. And then for the handles, I'm actually going to be using my kids. Uh, we have the travel size EnviroCloths that they love to use um, when cleaning, especially their toys. They clean all of their toys um, with these small size. They're perfect for their hands. Uh, we actually have some in the bathrooms too so that if they you know, sprinkle when they tinkle, um, they can wipe up very quick and easy with the travel size. So I'm gonna be giving them these to do all of the handles. Um, they are three and four, so they can definitely help with the chores, especially when we're just using cloth and water. Um, there are some spots that there's like little marker marks, um, or maybe your door frame has scuff marks or um, some oil or whatever can get on there. If the EnviroCloth by itself with the water doesn't work for that, I will be using the cleaning paste. The cleaning paste and the Spiri sponge are a great combination to use. The cleaning paste is also called elbow grease in a jar. There's so many uses for this, um, and I believe my garage door is going to need a little bit of TLC. So I'm gonna be fast forwarding and showing you all of the doors that I'm cleaning, um, and we'll see if I need the cleaning paste or not, but it's a great option to have along for the ride. So I'm gonna be fast forwarding this now. You'll see um, that I'm gonna be doing the challenge along with you and I'll catch up with you soon.
Okay, so our garage door does need a little bit of TLC, and I'm gonna be using the cleaning paste to get off these scuff marks. The cleaning paste has three active ingredients. It's ground marble flour, trace amounts of coconut oil, and natural soap. It comes like a pressed powder. I use the Spiri sponge. You can use anything you want with it though. I like to use a toothbrush for the grout, but a little bit goes a long way, and I'm just gonna get these scuff marks out now. All I have to do is wipe it a little bit with the Viber cloth, and it's like a new door. When you use the right products, the job doesn't have to be so hard. Clean smarter, not harder. Let's get with the rest of the doors now. screen door with the same enviro cloth it doesn't transfer from surface to surface so I feel okay about using it this is one of my last doors I just have the slider to do now um, so we are gonna be doing our glass doors as well with just cloth and water you'll see but a great tip is if you are doing your screen door for the first time this season I did do my screen door not too long ago so it wasn't too terrible but the dusting mate you guys the dusting mate used damp spray it with a little bit of water and it's going to clean your screens so easily and you don't have to gunk up a whole enviro cloth you can just use the cloth and water again with the dusting mitt it's going to hold it's going to be a little bit easier to hold um, to clean all of the dust off and it's going to clean them without having to remove them i'm going to do it on my back slider as well so stay tuned to take all day long if you want to knock them all out on your Saturdays feel free to if you want to knock out a couple in a day feel free but obviously this is the only challenge that I can do today so I'm going to be back tomorrow uh, but before that before I say goodbye I am going to ring this out real fast to show you something super satisfying okay so day one challenge is complete I did all of my doors and I honestly don't know how doors get so dirty. Like the garage door, the front door, I kind of understand, but the other ones, oh my gosh, so many little sticky fingerprints and little marks, I don't even know what they are. But let's do something very satisfying. I love doing this after I deep clean kind of anything. Um, it's just kind of a satisfying moment. So let's see what my EnviroCloth picked up, shall we? Let's see how dirty the water is. Remember, we're just using cloth and water. The microfiber is insanely awesome. It allows you to pick up and remove everything from the surface. So let's do it. Do you see how dirty this water is? That's disgusting. So day one is in the books now. All of our doors are clean. It may last a whole day. We'll see with all these kids running around, but at least it's done. We can check that off of our list. Uh, join me back tomorrow for day two.